Hey guys, if you spent time in a hospital, uh, like I have, you may have seen one of these. These little, uh, Treva, sometimes they, I think they say O2 cool on them, fans, battery powered fans, that, uh, oh this one's dead, no it's not, very nice. Uh, I've been impressed by how long these fans can run on, uh, a couple, I think it runs on two Ds. So, I thought to myself, hey self, I wonder if they make a bigger fan than this. Well, wouldn't you know what they do? Uh, this is a big old, I think it's a 10-incher. But it has a problem. Um, it has two speeds, high and low. And uh, at either speed, but mainly at low speed, it speeds up and it slows down. It's, it's very strange. I thought it was because of uh, uh, bad lubrication or bad bearings. It uses sleeve bearings, but after oiling it thoroughly, it was still doing it. Still could be bad bearings, but I decided to take the front cover off. My circuitry is already in here. I'll try to, I'll try to censor it for you. <laughs> That's all. There. Anyway, so this is all the circuitry that comes in it. It's using a couple of giant resistors to do low power mode. Um, and then in high power mode, it essentially doesn't go through the resistors, but they always have power. So anyway, I don't know, but this is definitely pretty much the least efficient way possible of slowing down a fan because you're dropping the resistance by turning it into, I'm sorry, you're dropping the voltage by turning it into heat. So instead, I thought there must be a better way. So I decided to hit Amazon and look for a, a speed controller. This is what I, well, I went through several search terms and there's lots of speed controllers out there, but a lot of them are kind of high power. Uh, this thing, this fan uses less than an amp. It runs at six volts. So I did six volt, DC motor, speed, one amp. And a little price, oh, that, that one's not bad. Three of them for $8.99. One for seven ninety nine. Hmm. Oh, there's a motor. That motor actually kind of looks like the motor that goes in this one. I may want to think about replacing it. Oh, here we go. Tatoko four piece low voltage DC motor speed controller. Eleven ninety nine for four of them. Heck yes. Add to cart. Well, look at these. They come little bags. You can't really see them. Well, uh, I actually did get four. So here's what the little circuit looks like. It has, I probably shouldn't be touching things while it's powered. Uh, really simple. Power plus, power minus, motor plus, motor minus. If you decide to do this to the same one, it's not bad. But uh, my first attempt kind of messed up. This thing is capable of running off batteries uh, or power. And it has a little thing inside the power thing that... Uh, it shunts the batteries to the negative unless you stick it in and then it uses the negative from here so I connected to the wrong I, I first I tried using uh, first I tried using the uh, negative on the battery but that isn't disconnected the correct negative to use is the negative to the uh, motor uh, which is right down here you'll see I did I did not want to get out my soldering iron so I didn't I just wire wrapped it uh, so now, check this out. Ugh. This is low speed. Low speed. Here we go. High speed. Continuous pulse width modulation based. Uh, high efficiency. Very little power wasted as heat. Uh, uh, fan speed controller. So then... Uh, you, if you felt like getting out a soldering iron, could do this much nicer than I did. I just cut the motor wires. <laughs> so all of this is, is bypassed, essentially. And uh, I'm in the process of boring a hole in the front to run it through. the This thing through. And then I've got a knob somewhere. Huh, here's the knob. I've got a knob that's going to go on the front. So hang on, and I should have it complete. Okay, the first catch was that this thing wouldn't sit flush 
and I'm like, ah, I'm going to get a saw and cut this off. Well, the circuit board is already scored, so I've just got to find some pliers and I can snap that off. Didn't even need pliers. I was just able to use my fingers. Now it'll sit flush. All right, my positioning wasn't quite perfect. It's uh, hitting against the circuit board, so probably this should be down oh, a quarter of an inch from where it is, but um, I don't really care. It's gonna work, so let's screw it back together. All right, we have it done. It looks nice, even though it's not super pretty on the inside, and we'll just have my lovely assistant here. Say hi, Matthew. Hi. Uh, hold a pinwheel to, or whatever it's called. Yeah, pinwheel's the right word. All right, hold it in line with the fan. I'm gonna turn it on slow. Not much. Let's crank it up. All the way. Ooh. Nice. Well, there you go. Six minute fix. It's Thanks for watching.